Dear all, my name is Kumar. In this video, today I am going to discuss on reporting. So this is my second video. The first one I have uh, recorded on uh, configurable business rule on easy. So it is covers around uh, 28 uh, scenarios. So that would be available in uh, LinkedIn as well as uh, Google search. Okay. So now again I am coming back to reporting. Reporting is one of the important tool or a functionality in the success factor. So as we know, report plays an important role in our day-to-day uh, -day business need. And also this is mainly used by business people, I would say in simple word uh, that is called end user. The, however, as a consultant, we should have a good experience in reporting. We need to understand each and every functionality buttons in the reporting tool. Okay, so then only we could able to achieve the business need. So this video is not only useful for a consultant, auto also it will be used for a, or useful for an end user as well. So I'll give a thousand percent after watching uh, this video. So they able to work on the reporting. So including the different types of reports okay so let's just start with some basic introduction or a terminology on reporting so then only it will be very useful when you are working on the reporting so first let's say start with types of reports okay So first one is dashboard. Tile report. So we have table report. Also we call as adapt report. the report canvas also we called as ORD okay so what I mean is online report designer so this terminology we are using before pp3 so now uh, success factor running on a pp3 version so that's why we are calling as a success factor relabeled as a table report or report canvas okay so now coming to the report table so we have three kinds of category One is single domain, cross domain, another one is uh, multiple domain. So what is the major difference between uh, these three? So single domain means we can extract the data from a single module. So example PMG or succession or RCM or EC. EC PMG ETC. So cross domain means we can bring the data from the multiple submodule in the success factor. That could be EC or EP or PMG combination. Okay. So in these two cases, single and domain uh, cases. So data it will comes in a single row for the employee okay so even cross domain data will be coming in a single row of all these sub modules however coming to the multiple domain we can bring the same data like ec like pmgm okay or ep 
or I would say even F2 in the multiple domain but data comes in the single file but in different sheet if you say like in Excel so sheet 1 for example which one you select the first one that will as a come as F2 second come as an EC so another sheet comes as an PMG this is the major difference between single domain cross domain and multiple domain okay so next topic is how to schedule reports so we could uh, schedule example daily weekly monthly and yearly okay so next topic is how to share reports for example i'll give the scenario so end user just they have the run permission okay they don't have any create or or uh, edit permission in the system okay so as a consultant we have to create the reports or not only consultant who has the permission then they have to give assign to the end user okay so in that case we can share the users to individual user group of people also we can assign to the row okay so this is three category we have so next one is how to build a pivot query so pivot query is to analyze the data it's like a statistical so i would say give you example the how many people are there in the respective business unit above 50 years like it so how many people are there or uh, no uh, salary range around uh, uh, 20,000 to 50,000 okay so these are the we can analyze based on building the pivot query okay so on this if you want we can build the chart as well okay so next one is how to build chart So sixth one is how to make auto total by clicking single button. Okay, this is one of the very good uh, uh, features we have in uh, Canvas report. Uh, seventh one is how to put line how to put line color okay adjust the column etc okay so in canvas report we can generate the report as a form this is a really good uh, uh, feature so i will discuss on this as well so next one is how to or i would say what are the formats we have download format i would say download format so we have CSV, Excel, PDF, and PPT. Okay. So these are the four uh, download formats available in the Success Factor. Next one is coming to RBP. Okay. So RBP plays an important role in reporting. Okay. So I would say like for example if I come into 
uh, single domain cross domain and done so we need to select the base object okay for easy we have a different base object okay for cross domain so we can select the multiple domains so in this case in that drop down it will come display based on the rbp okay so in the in this rbp you have to select the base objects okay also it play major role in extracting the data so if want to restrict based on the target population that could be possible so so that's why same so rbp is play in, plays an important role in the report okay so next one is uh, 11th one how to schedule how to schedule i would say ord report in excel format okay so which are discussed the normal schedule is different from the uh, this one so for ord there is a special uh, place where we have to go on uh, schedule excel report so another next one is discussing on discussing on ftp so we can uh, not transfer the file to the other sftp server as well as sap standard or uh, sftp server okay so these are the important uh, topics i'm going to cover in uh, coming uh, uh recording video so and also we could see what are the major difference between table report or canvas report okay so table uh, reports normally used for uh, talent module also we could use for easy okay but using the canvas report is more flexible or more powerful than table okay so example so canvas we can use it for time off benefits any of custom object any of custom object or mdo or related to workflow all these we can generate only in the canvas this is limitation in table report this we could not could not do it in table report okay and table reports are simple and less time consuming however canvas uh, uh, like we, i could say we can use it for more complex and time consuming okay so here in k table reports i have already mentioned rbp plays major role on base object or domain so even canvas reports plays rbp a role but in different place okay so in table report we can generate the report uh, 
on rbp permission okay also we can uh, report report audit itself report audit it means that someone has uh, deleted the report someone has uh, created so someone has uh, updated the report everything we can generate these things we don't have option in canvas report okay so what i would say it depends on the business needs scenarios we should analyze which one is the best whether you should go with the table report or canvas report okay i hope that this will be helpful for coming videos and understanding the uh, topics on reports okay so let's go with the, some basic navigation in the reporting okay so go to main navigation reporting so before coming to this place so rbp has been uh, set up that is the prerequisite and uh, if you want to work on wadi so you have to update it from the upgrade, upgrade center so initially when we started and we have to raise the support ticket and that will be activated by the sap support team however now sap had made very simple so just you go to the upgrade center select the uh, online report des uh, designer rather canvas report just click on update so that will be updated in the system then you should have the rbp permission okay so this is the i would say a uh, report home page so here some of the buttons like my reports so we have the some of the uh, uh, buttons or i would say labels so here we have the my my reporting so all report difference is so my report means whichever i have created that comes under my reports and also if i assume that i am a super admin and also i would like to see the other report who has created and all those reports are available under the all reports so if you want to create any new reports click on this button and import functionality is that uh, in case if you want to import the standard templates which is delivered from sap then you have to use this one so all the standard templates are available in the partner edge so it could be related to time off or workflows so then you can download the standard template and import it so you no need to create from the scratch okay if you are not comfortable from the scratch then you can see those reports and analyze it based on your requirement you can copy and modify it or after analyzing the those reports you can create from your own even i learned from those so like reports okay so next we have the flat and grouped so now i'm in the flat mode in it means that so all the reports are available okay so when i clicked on group so system clips the as per like example it comes under in a single folder so now i have the two reports if i click on a group that will comes under the top and also if you would like to search by names or anything you can or uh, use this search option and also we again we have the uh, something called filter if you want to filter based on the labels either uh, uh, author or uh, types of report like i would mention that types of reports is a table report title report or the dashboard okay uh, again we have the canvas report so this is the canvas report if you want to search by that so then you can go to the filter you can do it okay and this is the old classical view so it's a completely absolute but still if someone are using don't enter time using this one okay it's a completely absolute so next one is the view schedule so i will discuss when we uh, will use the view schedule and uh, so these are some of the uh, buttons i would say functionality available in the reports so let's start with the uh, first one tile report then we'll go to the dashboard then uh, table report then canvas so i hope this basic terminology and navigation path helpful for understanding the coming videos